Hi everybody, hope you're all well. I wanted to say a massive, massive thank you to everybody that headed over, it's all gonna appear here, to Jackie's uh, Just Giving page where she's doing the 100 mile um, walk it over the month of May um, in support of prostate cancer uh, charity. Her hubby is going through that right now and so this really, really, um, really means a lot to her. Honestly, she was so overwhelmed by your response and you know what, so was I, I really was. I was really just so touched by your generosity um, especially Ray, Ray, you know who I'm talking to, <laughs> honestly, uh, it, it, it was really, really, really heartwarming, heartwarming to, to the core, so thank you so much for that, um, she, she's still, she's obviously, it's the month of May, and she's, she's cracking on with the challenge, and, and she's done really well, so if you're interested to see how much she's raised so far, go and check us out, please do, um, but thank you to everybody who has donated. It's absolutely lovely of you, really was, to respond to my call out. It really meant a lot. Um, and you know by the title, <laughs> Getting Back to Cooking, uh, that it's gonna be a fake away. And I, I do love a fake away, especially given, uh, given <laughs> the price, the price of the actual takeaway. And in this case, Five Guys Burgers, which are delicious, are really, really good burgers. They do cost a lot of money, and that particular uh, Five Guys Burgers, it will sort of pop up here, is £11.35. I can do something similar, I've cost breakdown it already, for under a pound. I mean, flipping heck, <laughs> that's pretty good. Um, it's actually also really simple. They don't season their, their um, ground mince, if that's what you were, we just say mince in the UK. Um, I was thinking, let's call it ground beef or ground chuck. I'm not sure um, what chuck is. I'm guessing it just means beef. Um, but we, we, yeah, they don't season their, their mince. They possibly do season it with salt though, um, like most takeaways. Salt features largely in there, because you're always thirsty when you've eaten them. Um, but we will, and we will season ours, but only on top while it's cooking. So it's essentially it's a smash burger as well. So I know I actually have never made my own smash burger at home, so I'm going to be doing that as well. Um, I'm making one burger, so I've cost cost breakdown. Uh, excuse me, <laughs> um, to one burger. Um, you just kind of triple or, or quadruple the quantities if you wanted to make for more. If you wanted to try it for yourself. Um, recipe will be pinned in the comments it's in the description and there'll also be a cost breakdown so you can just see how much everything cost um etc i'm not cost breakdown in the condiments because I, I will be adding um tomato ketchup mayo and um or a little dollop of mustard because if you most people would have that in their cupboards assuming you know but the cost breakdowns for the mince the burger and the american cheese two slices uh, under a pound, pretty good, pretty good. So let's crack on, get on with this um, and make this burger. Oh, and the secret is just to actually wrap it in foil as well because we want that, that, that kind of creates that melted yumminess. Right, let's crack on, see you in a minute. So this is all the, the things that I will need, a chopping board, I've got um, four parchment squares cut up. They will become self-explanatory Oops, in a minute. To, this is basically this is 125 grams of, of mince uh, cut into two and put it rolled into a ball nothing's added to it so far two American sliced cheeses um, one brioche bun this is out of a pack of four from Lidl which cost one pound five p for four um, and it's yeah I mean it's a brioche bun a foil ready for when I want to wrap um, the burger when it's ready because once it won't take long so yeah let's get started and get cooking see you in a minute right so i'm going to place one of these squares there and a little ball of um, mince there and another square and i'm going to use my saucepan to squish it essentially I might not, I have, i've never done this before so i'm not sure how to how it's going to go but i've this is how i've read to do it uh yeah <laughs> The curly paper. Try to make it. Try to get rid of the curl, possibly. Right. Squishing 
with said saucepan or a chopping board if you if you wish I'll just sort of squish down quite hard oh that's that's pretty cool actually that's created a oh a really cool patty <laughs> so easy who knew I certainly didn't and um this is actually quite brilliant because I think I probably will do this again and create my own um yeah if we fancy a takeaway I think we're definitely going to go with this because this is actually incredibly easy just remember to uncurl your paper yeah really good quite satisfying squishing the the burger I do like that wow <laughs> so good and obviously you can you could probably do this ahead of time and stick this in the fridge for when you wanted to sort of do it late at late at night you know when you when you're watching a film or whatever and you literally probably will fry them. these won't take long to fry so with that in mind let's get cracking and get cooking with this actual smashed burgers this is exciting i am actually excited see you in a minute oh um, in fact, the first thing I must do is toast the brioche bun in the frying pan before I do any frying of this. So if you're doing multiple amounts, you can toast it, set them aside until you're ready. If you're doing multiple, um, sort of for, for more than one person, because this is one burger, two for one burger. See you in a minute. Okay, so I'm going to start off by toasting uh, the brioche buns. How many could I fit in? I wondered that. Uh, bottom one first I've just got it on a high heat it's it the, the pan is already quite hot so hopefully this won't take too long it's a dry pan so there's not, not a lot of I can't really guess how how long this is going to take because I've not actually ever done this before oh look you see it's already browning so that's quite good I'm just going to place that ready on the foil. Repeat the process with um, the, the top. Right, let's get this first burger on. I mean, ideally, if you had a bit of sauce, but you could do them at the same time. Um, but from what I understand, they don't take very long. And I'm just going to put a dollop of mustard on that. On this one. So a secret to a, uh, a smash burger is it doesn't take very long. <laughs> that noise is the extractor that fan. Okay, Whew. intense. 
Right, I'm going to just wait a few minutes before I taste test because it will give the cheese a chance to melt. Uh, and also, if you're doing multiple burgers, you can just let it sit in the foil um, and, you know, when you're getting the other bits ready. Right, see you in a minute for the taste test. I'm looking forward to this. Okay, um, I actually just re re realised <laughs> I forgot to season it, but I don't think that's going to in any way detract from said burger. So come on. Ooh. That's not looking too bad at all for a... Okay, this is a taste test, and obviously you could have added um, tomato, slices of tomato, lettuce, diced onion. Um, I'm going for a straightforward one because that's what I had on my new channel, Ten Bites. Go check it out, <laughs> uh, where I'm reviewing takeaway food. But I will, it will it be an added dimension where I try to create the a fake away of whatever I've tried, not with every um, reviewing takeaway, but you know most of them and this one why not I mean look okay taste test let's go in delicious mm. oh oh it's simple but boy oh that is really tasty that's delicious mmm Oh yeah. Wow. I can't believe I've actually created a, 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 a Five Guys replica. What a fake away. One more, because I want to split this, what the boys want to have a go. Take, well, I mean, I, I only had two slices of American cheese left. <laughs> uh, what would you call that? An error, <laughs> definitely, but just enough for this. Mm. Oh, oh, that was absolutely delicious. I can't believe how quick and easy that was. That was so good. I will definitely try to do that again. It could have done with a bit of salt. There is that, but that's my error. I should have added a salt, and I was planning on just on top of them as they were cooking but I got so ta taken with the whole process but before you even fry them you could just quickly salt them before they go in, go into the frying pan delicious really delicious um I want to say massive thank you to Vonnie for joining Patreon Christine Gitsum and Carol and Ken long overdue because you joined a little while ago I keep forgetting to say thank you thank you to three of you Vonnie Christine and Carol and Ken for joining uh, my Patreon family. I really, really appreciate it. Wow, that was so good. I'm going to cut that in half and give it to the boys so they can taste test and give me their verdict. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye. Thanks again everyone for donating to Jackie's page. 100% appreciate it. The link's in the description. Bye.